Olympic numbers that Searles produced in those Pro Tour runs. Of course, one of the things he's been able to do there is put those runs together, but it's all on the same day, isn't it? Uh, yes. Easy one. Can you go on? Having produced that performance yesterday, whether Ryan could replicate it today, and he hasn't so far. 87. Oh, he's a, a long, long way off where he was yesterday. That happened when you were at your pump. You'd no, 85. find that once you've got one good performance in a day, you carry on like that. Yeah, well, you would, you would sort of build up and... You know, back then you you were fortunate enough. You might have a you might have a couple of rounds where. But I know uh, John Part always puts it quite well, saying if you're closer or at least as close to them as they are to the finish line. Yeah, that's yes, I like that. I like that. Barry could get closer here, but he doesn't get close to the treble. Sixty. Ryan, you've got 157. Oh, Can you go I'll on? still make it a chance. Yes. Barry's doubling has dropped a little bit as the match has gone on. And he needs a treble to get a go at one. 51. Not Ryan, sure about that, 60. Chris. No, not a fan. Yes, well, there's that break. That was a beauty back to back. You can see the real difference in the amount of darts at doubles. Yeah. <laughs> Enormous. The way the darts land there from Barry, pointing towards the floor. And those heavy metal darts of Ryan Searle. Heaviest on tour. 121. 32 grams? Or are they heavier? No, 32. Yeah, I think they're right. Can he get this right? 84. Ryan requires 78. He couldn't, and if Ryan can, then it's all square. It's been a bullish performance, but been ballless. 58. Here you go. Opportunity. Missed. Yes, on the Punished. Keen back. Yeah, and that might have been the chance. Two treble, treble visit of this match. 9 8 in favour of Keen. Yeah, six, three treble oh, visits as well. 4 2 to Barry. And he has worked his way down to a match-winning opportunity. Can you require 81? Both on two darters. Double 13. 55. Ryan, you require 100. Can still stay in it. Two at top. Good. Oh, and we do go the distance. Well, we've seen a real contrast here from Ryan Searle compared to yesterday when he was just at his brilliant best. Well, thoughts of that kind of fun are out of his mind now. Now it's back to the business of getting the job done. Probably better off. <laughs> 58. Proud, really involved in this one, aren't they? Yeah, they've enjoyed it, and why wouldn't they be? We've had a no, really decent ding-dong to start off the day's darts. Take a turn here. 100. Pops after 12 and a deciding leg against the throw. 4-1 and 5-3 behind in this match. Barry had the darts. Three <laughs> yeah, in two of the last three legs. Oh, but it's not over yet. And now he's back with that problem that he had earlier in the match, finding, finding neighbouring doubles. Yeah, where he did it twice. Gets a go. Oh, Keen Barry pips Ryan Searle at the post in the end. It might seem strange to describe a match in which he led 3-0. Merchant, isn't he? He's an FDM, but if he, if he gets that first start, Right, then there's not too many, he won't outscore. Can he get the first dart right here? Yes, he can. So we'll follow, won't he? Yes, he does. And the ball. Oh, it's Martin Schindler showing off a bit, is it? Didn't need to go for it. The 
crowd appreciate that. No, I just assume Van Gerwen would be on the finish <laughs> after nine yeah. darts. Usually is. Ooh. Oh, dear. this is one of the problems yes. of going for the bullseye. Now you're only getting one dart at the outer ring. 17. See, if he laid it up, you get three darts at the outer ring there. As it is, he's had one at the outer ring and one at the bull. And Michael Van Gerwen could steal this away. It's not there. 86. Martin, you require eight. Yeah, MVG at his very best, you'd be twitching in that situation. <laughs> yeah, it's on the second well, there we go, it talks about the grouping of the darts, and that's primarily an issue in the scoring phase. No, it's far from it so far. Oh, we went early with the zoom, didn't we? He nearly delivered, but he has left the 170. Again, it's that low dart from Schindler, and it's just making life awkward for him. He wants to stay on the 20s to leave 160, but he's going to have to run away, and now he leaves 161. So Van Gogh, on his own rules, shouldn't try and take this out. <laughs> Some rules are made to be broken, it turns out. 170s in... Three visits. You know that thing at the start of the game where I said, I don't think Michael Van Gogh is going to be showing off because I don't think he's playing consistently well enough to do so. Can I was wrong. Cancel that. Yeah. <laughs> Needs to fill it up to get to a finish. So he does. Picture perfect from Martin Schindler, who's hit two 180s in this game. Van Gogh hasn't hit any. He has hit two 170s. And he might have a one set. He does have a 110, it's wow. a 12 darter. And Michael Van Gerwen, after a slow start, is motoring now. Back to back. Yeah, when you have a player which is your nemesis, pretty much as Bricktop would say. 34. Uh, I can, I have total empathy because <laughs> I had the same thing. Well, it, many people have. As when I was ranked Van 16 in the world and Phil Taylor was number one, inevitably. Every Monty weekend. Oh, hello again, Phil. Hello, Phil. He must have loved seeing you. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Knew he was in the quarterfinals, <laughs> at least. Double ten. Yeah. That might be that. MVG looking for a third ton plus finish of the game and to close out the game. Would not put it past him. Double eighteen. 6-2, mighty Michael Van Gerwen. A stuttering start, some brilliance in the middle, and sealed with a third ton plus check. He's never really experienced lows in terms of this standard that he's been producing at not, times. Yeah, not since he's become yeah. the player that he's been for the last decade. Pretty much since that 2013 World Championship. However, we're already 100. seeing here that this is getting better. He's dragged his average up to 96. Yeah, 11 dart are on the verge of potentially another one. And parity in the match against the world number one and world champion who battered him just three nights ago. Double 12. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant stuff from Peter Wright. The very moment where Peter Wright just went back to being Peter Wright after a few oh, weeks of struggling. Well, let's hope so. Because this is very, very good stuff. The kind of stuff we came to expect from Peter Wright. 140. He's left 81 <laughs> after nine again. Well, that's three legs in a row that he's done that, isn't it? 100. Who do you require? Look out, 96 for the 11 in leg five, 81 for the 11 in leg six, missed double 12 for it in leg seven, and takes it out in leg eight. An astonishing spell of darts this is. we more than enough in this leg to close the gap back to one. 54. Well, could it be that Peter Wright plays very, very average for the first four legs, then goes mad for four legs, playing darts and the gods, and then goes straight back? Maybe not. It's number six, snake bite. Is it a 180 in the last four legs? Stay in it. Smith hangs on, and who would have thought? He's back in the 200. So two visits from here to record 
victory against the world number one and take out the defending champion. It is on. But no longer. Well, it does seem like a, a matter of when Easy rather than seven. if now for Peter Wright. And there was big ifs over him coming into this tournament, certainly into this match. Many thought it was a good draw 95. when the world number one Peter, you were was pitted against the world number two. But Peter Wright has turned things around halfway through this game. game. And Peter right. Wright Dynamite. may be back. He needs to do it more, but he couldn't have done much more than he did in the second half of that game. Performance in the locker. Yeah, and it's the kind of thing you expect a player to, you know, go away, work on the practice board, and then turn up and produce it. Not in the middle of a match. No. It was just stuff like this, time after time, as Dave Chisnell opens this match with the tournament's 150th, 180. <laughs> Cancel that. 151st. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And it's not changing. <laughs> it is not changing. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Rock ruins it. But Dave Chisnell might be about to lift the roof off this place. Hit a nine data in Visa on the Euro Tour last year. That was in the very first leg of a match. I don't think they were too happy about us starting this match talking about Peter Wright, Chris, do you? <laughs> yeah, that sort of um, put that on the sidelines, didn't it, <laughs> with that start from both? 92, David Roy, 52. Yeah, well, I was about to say that the average for Peter Wright in the last six legs of that game was 120, yeah, almost, 119.33. Dave Chisholm might be about... Seventh meeting between the pair. Dave Chisholm has won four of the previous six including the one they had this year on the Pro Tour. 90. Also met in the quarter-finals of the Hungarian Darts Trophy on the Euro Tour last year. Chisholm actually won that 6-0. Well, wow. 60. Ninety-five. Joshua Kwan, one hundred and twenty. Puts himself in the picture. Same check out as Rock is attempting here. They're having to move across. Does so with great effect. Dave, Brilliant Shonsaka, finish. Joshua. Picture perfect. The leg, Dave. Well, I mean, in fairness to Josh Rock, he's doing very little wrong. He's playing well. I mean, he's he's on par almost with one eighties. That's four three. Two trouble visits, nothing in it, 7 6. One All right, there's now two in the 180. Yeah, <laughs> and is it the both doubles he's gone for yeah. in the game? He's at 100% on doubles. He's had an opportunity, he's taken it. He's just 97. not being they given an opportunity. Because this man has been irresistible. Yeah, and brilliant in every department. His doubling has been great as well. Four out of five. Game. Make that five Jonathan out of six. Joshua require 12. To go with him, one. Six. So they've been absolutely perfect. Now he's missed five darts Game in one leg when he was 84. about to get back in the game against Dave Chisnell. Well, it, he would have had to throw for 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. And now Chizzy could put him to bed. So, two, but double 12 has been a brilliant display from Dave Chisnell. Seven but he's two. now missed a couple more darts. Joshua requires By far the six. scrappiest leg of the match, and it could get scrappier yet. Double three. OK, decides to split. That takes some courage. Two. It does with just two in hand. Dave, you required... 12. Well, he thinks the game is up. He struggles across, and the game is up for Josh Rock. 
And what a game it was. For large portions of that match, Dave Chisholm was way up in the 100 teens. And it, it was just remarkable. Dutch number three, cheered on by a collection of gigantic fruit. <laughs> or is it veg? <laughs> only at the, only at the darts. <laughs> I assume so. I've not found any other sport where this happened. Loose one. Oh, Makes up for it. 23. Well, for those of you that have been with us from the start, you may recall Gian Van Bean being edged out in a, a fabulous match against Gabriel Clemens. Well, at 7 o'clock yesterday morning, he hopped on a plane to the UK to play in the Fourth, Dev yeah. Tour. He went on to win one of those, and today he's just won his semi-final against oh. Jared Cole, 5-0. Yeah, Jared Cole had 56. a 102.38 average. Gian Bambin, 113.86. Hell of a player. Incredible Dutch talent. Yeah. Right now, there aren't many more exciting. All oh. Excited Dirk fan. <laughs> Taking him six legs, but it's the first maximum from the Obergenius. Feels like every one of the people in the audience is throwing every dart with him. Well, they'd help if they could. <laughs> they're trying their best. 433. Dirk 38. He's switching. Good. Oh, and he's hitting as well. Well, maybe there you see the benefit of having a very clear plan in your head. Stephen Bunting has been hugely impressive, and he has massively outscored Dirk van Dijvenboda for the majority of this game. However, is he going to the 18th? He's not. And that is a calculated gamble, and it's paid off. Is that the... Fifth consecutive leg where he's hit three big trebles. But Bunting is back with one of his own to leave a finish, which is more attractive than the 1 2 8. Yeah, one of these looks likely to end on the ball. This one. Oh, wow. 48. And Stephen Bunting Stephen take out 296 16. points in just two visits to the board, just when it looked like Dirk van Dijvenboda might be turning this game around. Oh, that's awkward. Needs to go over the top of it. He does do spectacularly. Double 18. I cannot tell you how tough that second art was. Get what shot. a shot from Man. Stephen Bunting. World class stuff to close it out just when it looked like the game might. President. Well, I suppose it's an option, but he'll want to get over his game with Nathan Aspinall oh, before he takes on any democratic duties. Barry Van Peer in with a chance of breaking here, but 92, one of those tricky ones. The vast majority of players yeah, these days will go trouble pointing. Not bother with the bull shot at the start. They all fancy it. I fancy problem. that. Yeah, I thought he'd like the lie, yeah, but 52. Damien turns Rigo out 64. you could have been right, Dan. Because he missed. Damon Hetter Game does not Damon. miss. And Barry Damon Van Peer Hetter. hasn't even had a chance to throw at a double Game. in this match so far. 66. Three-time world champion Michael Van Gerwen and or the man from the local region here, Danny Noppert. 99. It takes on Nathan Aspinall in the next game. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of display the Asp puts in in that one. It was a, a battle. A battle with himself yesterday more than anything. He summed it up rather more concisely than that. Yeah. Yeah, he did, yeah. Not that we're going to broadcast it. 46. Well, very, very vampire. One treble, 
required in his first two darts to get a dart at double. Had a similar chance with the 92 earlier on. He gets the treble this time. Chooses double 18. Oh, easy they haven't nearly gone 16. But it's been that long since he threw it at double, he's forgot where they are. Good ask Damon, he's been pretty good at finding him. There's Finds that leg. one as well, it's 5-0. Two leg is buried to throw first. Yes. Another 180 would hurt, wouldn't it? Oh, you, you just can't see it being a situation like Peter Wright, where he just ups his level so his opponent can't compete. It's going to be... if. Vampir does get into Four, this match at all. Damon, he's going to need Damon Hetter to miss darts at double, isn't it? Might need him to miss here. Well, not yet. AZ3. Very a frustration for him. Might cost him a dart at double. We saw a bit of this, this yesterday in the last leg against Johnny Clayton, just taking his time before a big moment. Could be his final fling at the Dutch Darts Championship. Or it could be the visit that keeps him in it. Just the wrong side of the wire. 85. 90. Time for a 6 1 win and a spot in the quarterfinals for Damon Hatter. Double eight. Double four. And Game that shot. is a very polished performance from the Aussie ace to... Is he's got to stay switched on. He's just gone that way. Because of the ending, and it's double 19. 96. Then you require 121. But Nopper has a chance then to pick his pocket and get further clear. It would be another break of throw. 11 segment. And now the ball. 96. Nathan, you're going 19. Nathan has to get this. Cannot afford to go full one down. Eleven. Danny you require 25. Well, it's difficult to watch. It must be difficult to endure what Aspinall's going through with his throw. Twenty-one. Still in it. Nathan, you require Very eight. Very much in it. Three-two. It's game on. Look at the determination etched on his face. Oh, four. So unlucky. So unlucky. Look at that. Danny, you require four. Can we have a steward's inquiry? They look in. No score. Wow. Well, bit of var. Well. Nathan, you require. He's got the rub of the green in the end after being unlucky because Nopper has found the green bed rather than the red one. Oh, again, cannot get any closer without going in. But what a dart! And the, the way he went to the smallest segment, the restoration of a two-leg lead for Nopper. Oh dear. 40. Need the single 16 to leave Nathan, top. You miss the big 65. number. Don't miss the big number. Don't miss the double, Nathan. 45. But he's let Danny up off the hook there. 32. Well, apart from being in or bouncing out, it couldn't be any closer. Danny Is it here for Danny, in it? Should be done and dusted, but 94. Do. Could end up seeing a, a role reversal here. I mentioned the meeting last week, right at the start of this match, where Nopper won an average 10 points lower than his opponent. He could end up with something similar the other way around if Aspinall were to turn this around. 92. Yeah. But he's going to need a couple of trebles himself here to get into the same range. 
Trouble 20 now to leave. 92. 17. Danny just Rivall, misses. So Danny has six at this. One hundred. Well, that might make the difference. The least return for Aspinall here is getting to the same finish. Gives another treble to do that. One hundred and forty. And he requires little tap on 70. the shoulder. It's just one dart for the win. Thirty. Even he requires 70. Also going to get one dart to stay in it. Double 16. Hey, two on the template. Nathan yeah. Aspinall. Full credit to Aspinall there. He let out a run. Danny Rapport, That's six darts of this. Already missed a match dart in the previous leg. He'll try and leave tops now. 100. Does just that. Fabulous final dart. 100. Fabulous fight once again from Nathan Aspinall. But is it a battle he's about to lose? Game. It is, but only just. Noppet nails it in the end and wins an almighty scrap. Threatening Andrew Gilding. Gilding chucks in a 12 dart yeah. on throw. He needed a and, 9 dart. And the two 180s in the leg. Yeah. 80. Which took away any opportunity. Well, like you say, he needed a 9. But he's there or thereabouts here. 122. Even despite that good recovery, not on a finish. So a 140 or a max. Yeah, this is New Humphreys knocking at the door. He's going to get a couple of chances to break. And after some dodgy doubling in the very first leg of the match, he has been... Flawless. He's hit his yep. last three darts at double, Luke yep. Humphreys. Four out of five will do the trick, and Luke Humphreys goes into the lead for the first time. He knows he's not playing as well as his opponent. What's that feel like? Because you feel you could steal this away, but you you feel like you're you're running as fast as you can just to stay anywhere near it. Yeah, you, 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 like I said a, a little earlier, you've got, you got to resist that almost instinctual feeling of trying too hard and forcing. And the best players will just let it happen rather than try to make it happen. Trusting their ability. Yes, exactly that. 58. Have all the Luka tools, it's whether 60. they're accessible right now. To yeah, turn right at this moment. Luke Humphreys, nice and out of the way. Nice open double top to go for. But he has missed again. And that's the double Andrew he got unstuck on in the very first 60. leg of the match. And it's opened the door for Andrew Gilding. And he loves double top. 40. Sometimes, of course, you... Sometimes Luke just taken out of your hands because <laughs> sometimes the player is just unplayable. Yes, well, that's not the case today with Luke Humphreys. In fact, whatever he does here, Luke Humphreys could win it in the next visit. Where do you want to go? Bullseye? Should have gone for the ball. Well, the problem is, he may only get one dart at double when he returns. Yep. Oh, it may not matter. It may not matter. Quick as a flash. Luke Humphreys misses a match dart. And is Andrew Gilding going to regret that decision to go for the 14s and not the ball? If he doesn't hit a treble. Oh, which he does. And finds the double four. 
makes the shot work. Yep. Luke Humphreys cannot 59. leave a finish. And Andrew Gilding, he might have just become favourite to win this match. There's very little in it. Nine that treble is massive. Huge. Yes, it is. Hey, what is great? The European tour. The greatest tour in world sport. Chris Mason knows. Oh, but Andrew Gilding knows that the chance has just bypassed him. And Luke Humphreys, who's already missed one 14. match dart, should Luke get Gregor minimum 66. one more. And one more is all he needs, and look at the celebration. That is relief from the number one seed. Cool hand Luke Humphreys beats the UK Open champion.